Welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, May the 14th. We missed uh, Friday the 13th by one day. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Joan Stack is Hello. Uh, way over there. Hopefully someday, <laughs> Joan, now we can start moving these chairs a little bit closer together. Yeah, we're getting vaccinated now. Yeah, so. everybody in here has been vaccinated with all of our shots. But Joan, you brought along a special guest. Uh, yes, I brought an intern who's been working with me this semester. She's about to finish up. Uh, and uh, her name is Maggie Beckett, and she is a junior studying art and art history. Okay. And of course, we said Joan is from the State Historical Society. So what you brought some pictures out here today yes that maggie's going to tell us about right well i'm going to tell you about the pictures that are in the exhibition our exhibition is called native creatures missouri's indigenous animals and birds okay and uh, really the star of this show we have a lot of several artists represented but the star of the show is john james audubon uh, who did not only the famous birds but also a series of images of mammals uh so the one that Paul is holding up right now is a beautiful image of a buffalo. Now, in the birds, Audubon had made everything life-size. Well, it wasn't possible to do the buffalo life-size, but it's still very large. It is over three feet wide and 30 inches high. You know, this is a big painting size. Uh, in gray. It's actually a lithograph that's been hand-painted. Mm. And you can see the power of the way John James Audubon represents the buffalo. It's very iconic looking. Yeah. Now, the way we've organized this show as a kind of a bicentennial show about the animals that were here at the time of statehood is we have quotes from the 1830s, a little bit after 1821, when Missouri became a state. But keep holding up the buffalo, because I'm going to read you a quote about okay. the buffalo. Okay, you want me to hold up the buffalo? Again? Yeah, okay. I'm going to read you a quote about the buffalo in Cooper County, written by Alfonso Wetmore in the Gazetteer of Missouri. Uh, this is what he wrote about the last of the buffaloes in Cooper County. Only a few years ago, some of the prairie inhabitants of Cooper County observed an aged buffalo pursuing the trace that had long ceased to be trodden by his race towards one of the salt springs, his old stomping grounds on the banks of the Lamine. He came, he saw, and drank. When the sharp report of a volley of rifles was the last sound that saluted the ears of the last of the buffaloes in Cooper County. Mm. So it, this is kind of a, it's I love these kind of flowery ways that the yeah. 19th century people wrote. But it also tell, it shows you a little bit different attitude about uh, the animals than we have. I mean, he's. He's kind of nostalgic about the last of the buffaloes, but immediately they go out and shoot it to get it. Yeah, yeah. So well, you know, we were talking. I tell you, I live on Route F in northern Boone County, and for several years, I would drive by the buffaloes. There was a buffalo farm yeah. uh, on Route F, and I so I got to see the buffaloes firsthand. I yeah. think there were about 10 or 20 of them there, and they're magnificent. Yeah, magnificent and they were animals. here in central Missouri. Yeah. Now, now you've got another one. Uh, yeah, this is maybe what you're more used to seeing with Audubon, a bird and these are life size this is a large again painting size engraving this is hand colored and it's a representation of a crow now you may not think of a crow as a beautiful bird but this is really a beautiful painting of a crow on a walnut tree and yeah. the walnuts are also very beautifully represented yeah, they are. I mean, you, and, the, and the crows are the crows yeah. are a beautiful bird they're very shiny and black and majestic when yeah. you look at them. Yeah, and that's what Audubon shows us in these images, really makes us appreciate the beauty of these animals. Now, I'm going to let turn the things over to Maggie. You know, we have these interns, these young college students, and we wanted to find ways to reach out to college students. So she and my other intern, Sophia Voss, made memes. And maybe Sophia can tell you a little bit about a meme and what she was doing. Okay, so Maggie, I'm holding another, this is another buffalo, right? Yes, it's the same buffalo as the one that was first shown. Um, and the meme that we have here um, is a big buffalo, and he's kind of standing out up on a field. And then it's kind of hard to see, but there's his herd kind of down in the back at the bottom of the valley. And it says on top of it, it says, longing for a time when you, when we can roam free without having to social distance. Yeah, kind of a... <laughs> I like that. I like that. And hopefully that time is, that yes. time will be coming. Yeah, several of these are COVID related. And so and uh, here's another one. Yeah. <laughs> this one is COVID related. And sadly to say, 
some of the COVID uh, relationships that we've had have become political. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this is a skunk. This, this yeah, is tell, a, me, tell me the story here. Yes, this is a mama skunk, and she's kind of up on a tree trunk, and she's kind of snarling, waiting for someone who might be getting close to her, and she's almost kind of going to maybe turn around at one point and kind of spray maybe, but underneath her is her babies kind of tucked underneath the tree trunk. Um, and it says, when someone without a mask gets a little too close to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. And you can take that any way you like, yeah. all right? So, and these will be available on social media. Tell them a little bit about the platforms we have available. Um, we have Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, and you're more than welcome to come and follow and come on over. Those memes are going to be posted on there. Okay. So if you uh, want to see... On the State Historical, uh, State Historical yes. website. Yeah. So you can get go to our main page, and then you can find the Twitter and Facebook accounts. Okay. Or you can search mm -hmm. us in, in those um, media platforms. So mm -hmm. how, many, how many different items will be up there? I think maybe there's going to be about six maybe different memes of different images all from the show. So and they, okay. may, gonna... they may kind of eke them out. The show will open yeah. on June 1st. So in the run up to the show, which you'll we'll have some of these memes out. So. Okay, that that sounds wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, and you did a very good job, Maggie. You <laughs> You're did a very good you. job, Joan. We got about a minute and a half. Anything else that you want to get across? Uh, yeah, let me just say a little bit more about the exhibit. I will add that not only do we have the John James Audubons, which I like, I said they're they, they're big, they're impressive, people love them, but we also have some works by Charlie Schwartz, and people may know him. He worked for the Department of Conservation in Jefferson City, and he did a very famous book called The Wild Mammals of Missouri, and we have the original drawings for that. We have a squirrel, we have a coyote, and we have, um, what else do we have? The uh, raccoon. So these really beautiful drawings of these animals, including like their skulls and close-ups of their feet, because he's a scientist and he's talking of showing these animals from a scientific perspective, but yeah. they're really beautiful. We also have some works by Carl Bodmer, who um, explored this area during that statehood era. And we have some animals represented that were native to Missouri at the time. Some of the animals are no longer here. For instance, the buffalo yeah. is not uh, native to Missouri anymore, though they're trying to reintroduce it. But All right. For more information, you can uh, find out uh, at the State Historical Society website. And your hours of operation are? Uh, we are, op the art gallery will be open 10 to 4 on uh, weekdays. We're not open on Monday. Okay. All right, Joan, thank you so much for uh, coming by. And Maggie, thank you. Okay, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. Out of time for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.